Welcome to the actual facts tarot. I am Goddess Hatet Hororetet, and this is a general love reading for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Venus. Taurus, my darling, thank you for stopping by and coming to visit me today. Now, don't you forget to hit that like, share, subscribe to my page, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your videos, Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me, my darling. Now, what we are doing today is a read for you called The Lover's Abyss. Now, Taurus, what The Lover's Abyss read is about is us diving deep into the sensuousness of your own inner abyss, okay, to where you open up that core door deep inside of your heart and your soul and pour out what it is that you're feeling about this person who is on your mind right now, who you are with right now, who you want to be with, or who you used to be with. Taurus, we have the whole thing spread out for you. Let's just go ahead and dive in, okay? Now, <clears throat> I see the divine will of destiny in the first column sticking out to me mostly because, you know, uh, it's saying that the time has come, okay? It's saying to me that the time has come. The time has come for what? For you to eight of swords, I mean, eight of, um, eight of chalices. That means the time has come for you to leave, okay? You're going to leave people who are your ten of pentacles, your family, people who you grew up with, people who you love and mean a great deal to you, your, uh, you know, your friends, you know, perhaps you're going to move across uh, to another country or to another city, another state, you know, you're going to leave these people behind with the, um, the Six of Swords. You're basically making the venture towards someone who you see as your ten of chalices as well as your nine of chalices okay and that's number 19 i would definitely recommend you look up that number because it's very powerful this is love overflowing right now okay love overflowing and you are moving towards this person or you feel deep inside of yourself that it is time to get up and go and go towards this person who you love your pisces cancer scorpio your aquarius Gemini, Libra, your Taurus like you, your Virgo, your Capricorn, okay? Now, what I see here in the third column is that there is an obstacle to overcome, my darling, okay? Now, the obstacle with the uh, Six of Wands, you're overcoming this obstacle or you want to be victorious over this, definitely, <laughs> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, who has four swords, the whole world, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is the four of uh, chalices, who is not accepting any love. The four of swords is someone withdrawn. The, five, the four of chalices is someone who is not accepting any love offers. So while you have traveled towards them and is the person in the water with your chalice right here okay wanting to offer them this ten of chalice this nine of chalice that's what's in this this chalice you have right here love love overflowing okay and it's like the person is too busy looking towards something else perhaps looking towards something that happened to them in the past perhaps looking towards something that is just really hard for them to deal with in regards to a past relationship that they had to withdraw from go into isolation from okay and you know they just withdrawn from the world and this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra is not going to be easy to break through to the, the barrier, okay? The barrier, you see this, this fence right here, okay? This fence right here. 
they are inside the fence and a lot of people have been trying to to get inside of that fence and be victorious and be passionate with them and utilize the wand to make sweet and passionate love to them in order to heal their 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 pain that they've gone through okay but a lot of people are not able to get through that wand because or this wand this wall of wands because it, it, it's just too hot you know it's too high it's too strong you know it's coupled with the with the, the four of swords so you know um anybody who tries to get past the the wand first of all will burn up but if they happen to get past it they will have swords energy you know to deal with like people you know fencing them off like you know this is a double uh defense mechanism that this person has up against the world and it's like you don't know what to do about this because you are really in love with this person Taurus, you're really in love with this person. Now, my baby, here is the love oracle cards. Okay, I shuffled a hundred times and I pulled you these, all right? See, love. Love, baby. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So, yes, it's time for you to get up and move away from the people who you love. Your ten of your ten of pentacles, your family, towards someone else who you want to build a family with. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Here's the next card. You want to do it with lightning speed. We want to put that on the six of um, swords here. Okay, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. You know, you're just ready to make this move. It's going to be a shock to everybody that you're trying to make this move, that you have transformed, that your epiphany is telling you that this change needs to happen suddenly and uh, right now. Now, the third card we get is the sword and the rose. Here we go. Sword and the rose. Mm. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor protection power yes ma'am uh yes sir this person is under uh protection okay and nobody is going to be able to break through to the solidarity until they give a clear reason why they're here so taurus when you come towards your aqua gemini libra your cancer pisces scorpio uh when you come towards them be clear speak truth okay do not lie speak your complete and utter truth okay and that is the only thing that is going to bring down this this protection because this is a powerful protection against anybody if this is person if this person is someone who you dealt with in the past Taurus and you're ready to come towards this person uh this must be something that you caused you may have caused them to be in this four of swords this four of chalices energy you know behind the wall of the wands you may be the one responsible for this so that's the reason why it's time for you to get up and go back towards this person because this eight of um Eight of chalices could be you just up and leaving them one night, just walking away, you know. And he looks like he's hurt, but he also, I mean, sleep, but he also looks like he's hurt. What I just said, <laughs> he looked like he's hurt too. So you hurt this person, Taurus, and you, this person was your, your ten of pentacles, okay? Mm. Someone who you wanted to make a wife, a husband. So you're going to leave your family in lightning speed and go towards this person who is in isolation and they got their defenses up and don't want to receive any chalice from you or anybody else. And you have all of this love. You have all of this love. <clears throat> Excuse me, Taurus. All of this love that you're trying to give. Okay? That is what you say. That is what you show, Taurus. Mm. My darling, um, here is the Crystal Spirits Oracle. Let's see what they said. Here I shuffled about a hundred times and I got you the Christy Cola. The Christy Cola. <laughs> it's like a crisis, huh? <laughs> it's like you need to come back to this person. It's a crisis if you don't, right? 
Now here is the, uh, or it's a crisis that they have been put in this position by you and you just want them to heal right now. Okay, you want them to be victorious and overcome the pain if they can. Okay, Taurus, my goodness. It says, uh, trust and intimacy build when we have the courage to speak our truth. <laughs> Okay, I got you. And today, Chrysocola Spirit is here for you to support you in right speech. Speak your truth as you see it from the heart using words that express the very best of you. Yes, oh man. <clears throat> yes, yes, uh, uh, Taurus. This is the very best of you. This ten and this nine of, of, of chalices. Okay? This ten of pentacles. This is the very best of you. <clears throat> so when you speak with, with, with this person, which is probably the reason why I got a clear throat and trying to clear out my throat because <laughs> you're telling me that, yeah, you know, perhaps you're, you're feeling some type of way about that, but, um... <laughs> Okay, now here we say, where is it at? Don't hold your tongue out of fear that you aren't enough to or don't uh, deserve <clears throat> to have your say. Mm. Practice telling the truth with love as a sign of respect for yourself and your experiences as you have lived them and your emotions as you have felt them. Claim your voice and use it wisely and honorably for many truths make up the collective truth we all share. Okay? Mm. And yours is no less valid than anyone else's and deserves to be heard. Okay. So all of these people who are speaking their truth to this to this uh this this person who you're very passionate about, the uh the six of wands, the you know who is behind the, the wand of uh the wall of wands. Everybody's speaking their truth, okay, to this person. Now it's time for you to come and speak your truth because nobody has been victorious because of what has happened between you and this person. So I'm going to put the Christ of Cola right here on the Ten of Chalices because I need you to step on out of this whole unable to express yourself because you fear that this person will reject your love. If they're going to reject your love, my darling, the only thing you can do is speak your truth truth which is your love speak your love you know I mean if you are sincere and not you know in the energy of being defensive while you're doing it then uh, you will be successful however if you come at them in a state of fear while you're trying to express your love towards then that's something that's just not going to work it's just not going to work like that, man. You just you just cannot expect for there to be any kind of opening up, okay? If you're not clear and truthful with your feelings, if you're defensive, then, you know, you're not being truthful. Open yourself up to receive this love and make up with this person, Taurus. Make up with them. And uh, that's what you plan on doing any daggone way. <laughs> that's what you plan on doing anyway, okay? Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this right here, Taurus. You know, I I love you. I love my Tauruses. I mean, y'all are so soft and, and sweet and gentle and, and, you know, very feminine energy. And it's just a very beautiful feminine energy, okay? And I just really, really enjoy you guys, okay? I'm, uh, and I hope that you get what it is that you going towards your your love that you that you have for this person. I hope that you will defeat this uh, four of of chalices energy. I hope you will take the lesson and speak your truth. Okay, do that and get back the love that you lost. The love that you lost. Okay, my darling. That's all. That's all I'm going to say for now, Taurus. And I will speak with you later. Love. Peace, love, and light. Bye-bye, baby.